The Quanta Center came to life in 2018 as a response to new trends and innovations in quantum science, including quantum computing, uh, quantum sensing, quantum materials, and other related innovations. It brought together faculty members from the University of Saskatchewan with uh, those at other universities in the Canadian West, including Alberta and Manitoba, in a joint effort to bring about an interdisciplinary perspective on these areas. Quanta's mission, quite simply, is to prepare us for the quantum future. In order to fully take advantage of what's on the horizon and contribute to it, we need a unique interdisciplinary perspective that a center like Quanta provides by focusing not on individual areas, but rather focus on the problems that these innovations are trying to solve and then bringing about knowledge from each of these disciplines as required at any given moment. This is the only place on campus where you'll see psychologists, chemists, physicists, mathematicians all working together. Some of the big challenges in chemistry are trying to model the dynamics of molecules, how they act in real world settings. If we have, say, quantum computing, we can be able to do this on a large scale. Instead of looking at three molecules and how they're interacting, we can have thousands of molecules and actually get some really, really detailed understanding of how they're interacting. I think quantum science in particular is really interesting because it's very interdisciplinary in nature, where you get to sort of draw on a backgrounds from a variety of fields, which I think is something really unique, especially in math. Uh, math is sort of known as being a, a pure science in a lot of ways where uh, I feel like quantum science is sort of on that edge of a lot of different disciplines. Many other labs, at least speaking from a student perspective, they have a particular research project in mind they want students to work on. That, that's something I think really unique about Quanta is you're not sort of pigeonholed that way. The recent research that's emerged from the Quanta Center in hyperbolic matter, which is a new approach to quantum materials, is a perfect example of the interdisciplinary approach of the Quanta Center. The quantum material is really a crystal. The idea here, which comes from pure mathematics, is that let's, let's think about other kinds of crystals. Let's think about warped crystals, droopy crystals, other kinds of crystals that are actually common in pure mathematical thinking, but not so common in physical or material science thinking. And by pushing that boundaries, we see that new kinds of physics are actually possible. In this lab, we have used diamonds with nitrogen vacancies as a very sensitive magnetic field detector. We plan on using these diamonds uh, in an entirely new design for MRI. I call it a direct MRI approach. If these ideas work, they will lead to a concept that will reduce the size of MRI to handheld, potentially in size. It's very important that in this part of Canada, something like this is happening. Now, why is this so important? Because I believe myself personally very, very strongly that we are witnessing a very, very sharp transition into a revolution that possibly is only comparable to industrial revolution. We would like to be in a position to coordinate some of the things that are already happening in Western Canada. We already have contacts with other uh, centers in Western Canada and we would like to provide uh, maybe new directions of research as well as training for young people. We would like to bring new programming for young people in Western Canada. One of the things we're very much looking forward to in Quanta is seeing a lot of the applications of our work bear fruit in terms of disruptive technologies, paradigm shifting applications, and standing back from this, I think what we're really excited about is just seeing the kind of difference that we make in terms of uh, health, medicine, socioeconomic impact. We really believe that the quantum future will change the fabric of life as we know it, and we believe that it will change it in wondrous ways. And a lot of those changes will have started at centers like this one, where we encourage people not just to be users of quantum ideas and quantum technologies, but creators of them. And what I'm very hopeful for is what the new generation of researchers, scientists, innovators coming out of this center, coming out of Western Canada, are going to do with the skills that they learned here at Quanta.